Let's go right. fossil collecting along the I'm Jurassic Coast. On that. Look at that. Okay. I'm going to look for some ammonites that are fossilized in these layered limestone rocks that develop up quite nicely. I've already got quite a nice handful of iron pyrite ammonites here from the Winters Collecting. Have a look at those. A lot of people make the mistake of looking in these rocks that have been put down. They're derived, they're from the Isle of Wight on the main beach in front of Lyme Regis. It's no use looking there, but if you want to see some ammonites in Lyme Regis itself, walk along the Marine Parade. You can see some beauties here like Coroniceros. Also too, have a look at these lampposts with decorative ammonites there at the top as you walk along the Marine Parade. The weather has been fairly calm, so the fossil collecting isn't brilliant along the Jurassic Coast at this juncture. It's the 14th of February. I'm heading out through to Black Ven. Here's a really good map you can see of the Jurassic Coast, the extent of the Jurassic Coast you can see there. It was given world heritage status. So you can see on the map here those blue colours there along the coast representing the Jurassic succession and then the orange colour there is the Triassic rocks. The Triassic rocks like you see down at Sidmouth with those red rocks there in the cliffs. If I drilled down here through the ground 50 foot down I'd be into the Triassic rocks and you'd see those. But I'm going to walk along now through towards Black Ven fossil hunting. So join me on this fossil collecting trip. So I'm walking along in this misty, murky morning. It's very, very overcast and I'm hoping it will clear up this afternoon when I'm going fossil collecting on the low tide. So here I am down at Church Cliffs. It's good to see that there are no people under the cliffs because the tide is on its way in and they shouldn't be there because the tide will press them right up against those dangerous cliffs. So I'm not going out yet. I'm going out later in the afternoon, hopefully when it clears up and I'll see what I can find. So here I am back in the afternoon. It has cleared up, the sun is out. It's really set for some good fossil collecting. You can see those notices the powers that be have now put up on that mudslide. Some people have been really getting into that mud. I saw some person up there yesterday and they were right at the very back, right where the quicksand areas are. You can't go through those places and not get stuck. Those places at the back are absolutely liquefied and you mustn't go onto the back of those marine sediment areas that are liquefied. The front face of the mudslide is often battered down by the sea's action and the sea pummels the seafront and the mudslides and so the mudslides at the front are harder but at the back they're liquefied in places. Here's a lovely piece of limestone rock and you can see those trace fossils there on the top. All those amazing patterns are trace fossils so that's always interesting as you walk along the beach to see those. And here look under this rock, comments down below, what do you think I found here? A great big heavy chunk of that material. So have a look and have a see and leave your comments down below as to what you think that particular thing is. I think I'll put that up on Instagram and ask some questions too. It's a bit of fun, I know what it is and you can find out too. The pyrite ammonites I'm sieving away here for and sieving for Susie, she likes these videos. She does the sieving herself when she comes down to the Jurassic Coast on holiday. After all her hard work, she gets out and does some sieving too at the low tide. So I'm going through the iron pyrite, the iron pyrite patches on the beach, sieving through them. The ammonites are preserved in iron pyrite. Sometimes they come in clusters of iron pyrite, the ammonites do. I'm looking hard to try and pick one of those perfect pyrite ammonites out. I'm lucky enough getting one here to show you. And you can see on one side, it's absolutely covered in iron pyrite, a glob of iron pyrite. And there's the perfect almost perfect pyrite ammonite on the other side, Promicroceros, the male of the species you can see there. And as you look here down towards the sea, you can see it's really calm at the moment. So people have been saying to me, why aren't we finding many fossils like you do? Well, it's just a calm period of time and the sea's not doing much work. 
washing the fossils out of the mudslides. So still have a look and you can find these all day long. Look at this lovely belemnite. You can see it in the evening sun. Look at that lovely browny reddish colour. And here I'm lucky enough to find an ammonite sitting on top of that rock. That will prepare nicely. A calcite ammonite preserved in that grey layered limestone rock. An ammonite that is called Promicrocerus. I'll do the work on that. Here is the fossil specimen after I've done a bit of fossil preparation on it. Well, I've walked up the beach quite a way, away from people, people attending to congregate at the beginning of the beach, and I've picked up this Canocytes turneri ammonite chunk for my walking. And look there in the background, it's the 14th of February, half term week, not a lot of people around me as I have walked a bit further down into the Black Ven region to do the fossil collecting in. People will congregate in certain areas, not coming further down the coast when they can do at low tide looking for the fossils. But one thing you will do is see ammonites just below the sea wall as the tide goes out through to the east. You can see them below the new sea wall, the ammonite graveyard. Those ammonites must have died out because there was some chemical imbalance in the water or some problem in the area like a volcano nearby killing them all off at the same time and look at this lovely big ammonite here you can see the chambers of the creature it filled with water or gas to give its buoyancy in the sea a nice piece of fossilized wood monkey puzzle tree you get branches of that with cones on in certain places so here's the sea wall i'm going to nip around that i'm not going up on top of the sea wall i've still got enough time with the tide coming back in to nip around that sea wall and on looking back to the sea wall you can see how it defends Lyme Regis it was over 19.5 million pounds worth of work that they did there with that new sea wall protecting 400 houses and their access routes and it's a really good bulwark against the big seas that rifle in from the Caribbean when low pressures dig out the seas down there in the Caribbean they send big waves up and there's the Mary Anning statue a lovely sight to see I'm going back into town now and on my way back into town, I'll show you a lot of birds in flight at the moment. They really are around this evening, out and about. There is a fossil collecting code of conduct in operation along the Jurassic Coast. You can have a look at that online if you Google West Dorset fossil collecting code of conduct. You'll bring that up online and you can have a look all about the fossil collecting code at Lyme Regis and along the Jurassic Coast. So please don't forget to like and share and subscribe to our channel and please click the little bell for notifications when I upload new fossil hunting videos. It's free, totally free to subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.